country craft corner how in the world are you guys doing today it is so good to see you again and thank you so so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to and what I'm up to today as I continue on with my blue and white cottage decor series we're gonna be working on uh, a little projects for up on top of my desk which is right up there and I just did a tiny bit of decor down there as you can see you know right in there and I'll show you that when we get over there it's no big deal it's stuff I've already had that I kind of just moved around and you know made look a little bit new again just for something you know that desk do you all have that area in your house where it tends to become a a bit of a catch-all that's kind of what that desk is that in the island here I am a person who does not like piles or clutter I really really don't and you know the way I decorate which is you know certainly not clutter free <laughs> I am NOT a minimalist you know for all of that I don't care for piles and I don't care for clutter I just don't so I cleaned that whole desk off wiped it all down you know things for Christmas time got put there like you know stuff just got I was like Ugh. glitter abounding you know so I did clean that off that's what I've just been doing That's why I'm a little hot uh, and but now here I am sitting here at the island and we're actually gonna do a funky bow topper. Very easy funky bow topper, lantern topper. And I'm gonna put it on this lantern. And Chris has the pip berries in here already rigged up to plug in so that they come on with the, uh, you know, with my remote. So I'm going to have him plug them in. Um, he's downstairs working on something for me. So whenever he comes up, but we're gonna make a funky bow topper for that. And all I'm gonna be using is just my pretty navy blue burlap ribbon. I just cut this stuff, I'm telling you again, I would not recommend using this if you are using it for anything but your own personal use, you guys. And be ready for it to cry like almost rusty stuff. It doesn't smell bad or anything like that. It's just, I don't know where this stuff was stored. But regardless, I'm just warning you straight up front. I want to be straight, fr straight up front and honest with you guys. I am using it because it is the only burlap I could find, and I'm certainly not using it for anything but my own enjoyment. And to make it into a bow topper, we're going to be adding some tufts of this white, these white little tuffy things. I have my hot glue gun uh, plugged in here. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and make this funky bow first. But before I do, I wanted to show you just some other aspects that I'll be using that you all who have been with me for a while have seen. But a lot of you have told me that you're new subscribers. First of all, thank you so much for subscribing to all of you, whether it was just today, yesterday, the day before, within the last month or two or year, but to all of you, to all of you who have subscribed, I welcome all of you into my little YouTube family here as we, you know, bumble around and do a little decorating and talking and singing every now and again and car chit chats and travel and all kinds of stuff. I just don't cover, and my country craft corner is named as such because we live in the country. And I'll tell you the truth, I used to love only country decor, but I have branched out. And I love country decor still, but I have branched out a lot further into a lot of different venues of, or genres, you know, of decorating. But anyway, th I got these two bottles at, um, a secondhand store here in our town actually it's down close to downtown Fredericksburg Virginia so I got these and I'm not gonna put anything in these these are just gonna stand on their own nothing in them no nothing nothing in them so I'm just going to put those up there set them up there in some place or another then I have two uh, candlesticks one this size and one this size and we're gonna be placing these beautiful birds back up on these in fact I could just go ahead and do that now we're gonna place them up on these candlesticks just like that I'm gonna get me a well oh, there's a glue dot on this one already let me see here so if I can get him to sit there I'm 
going to put some on the bottom of his feet too because I don't want him flying off of there. I love these birds. I got these birds at, mm, I believe I got them at Hobby Lobby. Or maybe it says. Yeah, Hobby Lobby out of their spring, but I've had these a couple of years, you guys. Their spring shop. Actually, I think. <coughs> I'm so sorry, pardon me. <laughs> As I sneeze. Oh. He's not going anywhere. There you go. Any cute? And they'll sit up there. I'll put their pit berries up around them. And I just these are just pit berry rings. That's all they are. Just a, out of a, a Hobby Lobby pit berry garland. These are not expensive pit berries. I just got this. This is a garland that I got from Hobby Lobby that I cut apart and just, you know, made little rings out of. Let me do this little dude now. <laughs> fine so there we go two little birdies and they'll go up there in some way or another with these bottles and then this lantern will go up and uh, I was at Michael's this morning I might as well go ahead and do this stuff while I'm talking about it and I found I had a gift card uh, Kristen our daughter gave me a gift card for Christmas $50 gift card and I purchased uh, more florals than anything else. Some that we'll see right here, some that we'll see later in the decor. But this was, um, $12.99, but it was, I believe it was 30% off for spring. And then I had a 20% off of your entire order. So I got this. And then I picked up these cute, little florals and I'm not going to put any like oasis or anything down in here. I'm just going to stick a couple of these tufts of florals down in there. You know, just to make it maybe like three of them. We'll see how three do. I might need four. Just to make a little base of flowers, you know, without you know, arranging, doing a whole arrangement. So let me move you over here a little bit. Got my tea sitting here. Okay, I give. I gotta go get me some of that Oasis. Hang on. I'll be right back. Okay, I got a little piece of it. Let me get a knife to cut it with. I just winged it. Look at that. <laughs> I got lucky, y'all. Okay. Let's try this again. Oh, look. I was being lazy, y'all. Go. Ta-da! And that will sit up on top of there too. That's what I get for being lazy, huh? Alright. Now, actually, I want this to sit up on this little pedestal. I want it to sit up a little higher. It already has glue dots on it, so let me see if I can just get it up on there. So that we can, so I can sit it up higher, so y'all be able to see it, because it's going to be up, up high. Use the rest of my glue dot, so I'll just put my trash in here. Okay, so that about does it for, and this little blue bird will sit next to this. That about does it for the little projects that uh, will go up there. Now let's get to making this bow. Okay. What I have here, I have nine pieces 
of this burlap ribbon cut at 21 inches long each. And I have one long piece that I want to attach for the tails. I'm going to put a couple of tails on this. Now that said, if I had thought about it before, I could have made two of these pieces much longer to accommodate the tails and just place them in the bow strategically. But I didn't think about it, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Okay, so the, this is going to be a nine loop funky bow and it's gonna be made all out of this blue ribbon. Now, usually the concept, the original concept for the funky bow from Julie Samaka was that, you know, you could utilize all of your old strips of ribbon that you didn't utilize anywhere else. Well, I've kind of taken her concept and I sure give her credit, you know, for coming up with the funky bow. But I now have a funky bow cheap sheet with directions of how I make my funky bows. And I, there's always a link for that in the description of every video that I put up. So you can always find that. It takes you to a blog of mine that I wrote about the Salvation Army and it's within that blog. And you can click on it and you can print it off if you want. And it tells you how to make the nine loop, the 12 loop, the 16 loop, and I believe the 20 loop funky bow. I am going to make a nine loop today, but I'm, uh, but I'm gonna make it out of all the same ribbon. I don't, I'm, I'm not, sometimes I'll contrast the ribbon, use different, three different ribbons coordinating with one another. But today I just wanna make one. So each, each strip equals one loop in your nine loop funky bow. What you do is you fold it right in half and you go to a measuring stick or your board if you have one of those boards, which I sometimes use when I, I'm gonna put my bow on my mat here and just glue with my mat underneath instead of getting that big mat out. I've got a silicone mat that I put my, my uh, hot glue gun on. Anyway, fold it right in half. I'm gonna to go to five and a half inches. This is wired ribbon, y'all, but this ribbon could be wired a little stronger. This isn't the most sturdy wired ribbon. So instead of making a six inch loop, that would give this uh, ribbon the opportunity to be more flouncy. I don't want that. I want it to, I wanna be able to manipulate the, the ribbon and I wanna be able to it to stand on its own instead of drooping over. And this is not heavily wired ribbon. So then you go to that back tail and you twist it to bring the right side forward, at least at this process. They're gonna get messed up, they're gonna get twisted and turned, and if they do that, that's okay. That's not a problem. But to begin with, I like to pull the back, twist the back tail forward so that uh, it's pointing in the right direction at this point. It also helps to separate the tails. Okay, so there's our first loop and our nine loop funky bow. And there we go with the second loop. For the nine loop funky bow, I switch directions each time I add a loop, meaning this time I'm gonna turn my loop down from center. Center being my thumb, the center of the bow. Picture the center of the bow as being my thumb. And I point that loop down from center and I switch the direction every time I add in a strip of ribbon. I still go to that back tail and twist it and there's our first two loops of our funky bow, nine loop funky bow. And I'm just gonna wait, work my way through this, all the ribbons I have here, folding in in half, putting this, this time I'm going to point that loop up from center. And I kind of accordion that ribbon in, side by side by side, kind of add it side by side by side and I let it slip back down into the crook of my finger. So I'm really not holding this like super duper duper tight. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna, you know, uh, it's gonna come unraveled. No, I let it slip back into the crook of my finger and I'm not having to, you know, keep that pressure on it and make my, you know, make my hand like scream at me. So I let up off the pressure a little bit, you know. So here we go with our next loop five and a half inches, turn that loop down from center. And this is big, fat ribbon here, this, this burlap is. So I don't have very big hands. I'm a big girl, but my hands are not very big. So, uh, you know, even for me, this is a little much to hold, but that's okay, I'm gonna hold it, don't worry. As I said, I'm not a person who enjoys working with a bow maker. Uh, I have never done it. I've always done my bows like this, which may be old school, but 
it's the way I've always done it, and I'm not going to go out and buy a bow machine when I would never use it. So, anyway, here we go. Next loop up from center, and twist that back tail forward. And here we go. I'm going to speed up a little bit, get through this. Five and a half inches, point that bow or loop down from center, accordion it in there side by side by side. Because of that back tail and twist. And next. Five and a half inches and up from center. I do hold the bow, the ribbon out of my way with my pinky as I add this in. It's another little hint. And twist. Two more. Turn that way down from center. And I have used, utilized up pretty much all the room I have <laughs> in my fingers. Oh my goodness. See that? I've got a handful of ribbon and I've got to get one more in here. <laughs> I can do it. My hands are not very big, though, so. What did I do last? Down from center, up from center. Okay, and there we go. Oof. It's not that I can't, if I had bigger hands, it would help. Okay, now, take your pipe cleaner, lay it across the top right beside your thumb. Lift your thumb and hold on to it. Pull the bottom around the bottom and pull the top around the top. Like that. Then use your hand, this hand that you're holding as resistance, and get these fingers up on your dominant hand up as close as you can. Now I twist that hand around and I really squeeze it. And then I get that pipe cleaner as tight as I can get it and then twist. Twist, twist, and twist a lot. Twist your pipe cleaner and twist your bow. Twist it a lot. You do not want this coming apart, you guys. Oh, I forgot to add my tail. Daggummit. <laughs> oh, well. I've got to untwist for a second. I wanted to add that tail. For goodness sakes. I do not. I want it in with the bow. You know what? I'm going to get me another pipe cleaner. Hang on. Sorry. Do what I say, not what I do. <laughs> now, I'm going to add... my tail right in okay now here we go most important part of any bow is the fluffing. So I usually try to grab the pipe cleaners and I just start fluffing the bow loops up. See how that these are kind of flouncy bow loops? So that's okay. It's still going to make a beautiful bow. You can turn it over and you can separate the tails. I'm going to add one more piece. Ugh, come here, ribbon. So I can tie it on the, on the lantern. it so that these tails come off the side here. I want to be sure to have these coming off the side. And I just do left over right and pull it as tight as I can. Make a loop and right over left like that. Make a bow. 
usually go to here to cut the dovetail. All right, there we go. And there is a very pretty funky bow, but we're gonna make it even prettier. Do a little fluff in here. Go ahead and cut these at an angle instead of, I'm gonna make them pretty long. I'm gonna cut them up this way. And this one a little shorter. Okay, I was gonna add this. it to one of the tails. Well, it looks cute. All right. That'll work. Remember, this will all be light lit in the inside of the lantern, which I can't show you that right now. I'll show you that later. Okay, now very simply, I'm gonna cut some of the tufts of this off with my snippers. I hope to turn it so you can see it. And I'm very simply gonna glue them in. Actually, they pull right off. I don't even have to use my snippers. I'm just gonna strategically place them here and there around the bow. Stand up. my glue gun here. I'm just going to glue, put some glue on the very end and then just tuck it in. This is not hard to do. It's fun to do. It's fun to bump it up a little bit, you know. And I don't have to have thousands of these in the bow either. This is just an accent little bow, you know. And I'm not gluing onto the lantern. So I'll be able, when I pull the bow off, when I want to switch it out for something else, I will be able to pull the whole bow with these little tufts all nice and glued into in between the, the loops and pull it right off. This helps to accentuate the layers of the bow and you can see how intricate the bow is, you know. Instead of it being just one note, if you will. Not the kind of note that you sing. Y'all get it, what I'm saying. Brings another note in. A different look. I like it. Up there. That'll do it, y'all. I think that's pretty. Just subtle and pretty. Get in there, buddy. 
All right, I'm gonna get myself situated, get my camera situated, and then we're gonna climb up on a ladder and we're gonna put all this stuff into place. And hopefully it will all come together. There's a link for my glue gun, which is a wonderful glue gun in the description of every video I put up. That and my snippers and glue dots and all kinds of stuff. Always in my description. Alrighty, I'll be right back. Okie okay, dokie, you guys, here I am. And I've got everything lined up here on my desk. So I'm just going to start arranging it. Right there, I think. Okay. Now, I have, oh, can you, no, you can't see. See this plate over here, this basket over here? I have a, a glue charger and a large plate uh, glued onto it. Chris did it for me just a little while ago. We'll have to wait to see that after a while though because it is still drying. So I'll show that to you in the, in the final video. All right, let me get this stuff up here and we're gonna start placing it. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put everything. Now what, I usually like the birds, oh, there goes that, together. Oh my goodness, I'm having that in a thousand here. We're going to separate the birds and bottles. We'll do it. Now I have to get down and look at this to see. I was going to put this plate up here, but truthfully, I don't think it'll fit. <laughs> so I'm going to not. I'm not going to put it. I think that's got enough. Let me get down and look at it. Well, I see something I don't like, you guys. And you guys are probably going to think I'm absolutely nuts for doing this, but I do not like. the lighter blue of these flowers. So, I'm gonna fix that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna remove all the blue flowers from this. I'll be right back. Okie dokie, you guys. I think this looks by a thousand times better. And I actually think I like the, see that? I took all the light blue flowers off and I added in the same thing, the rest of the tough of the things that I used in the, in the bow. And I think that, uh, 
is much, 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 much better. Yes, I do. Okay, now I'm happy with it. <laughs> All right. Can't really see start the each day with a grateful heart. You pretty much can, but that's okay. We know what it says. Hey everyone, I'm back. And I'm gonna go ahead and go into some final words now. As you can see, Chris has been back upstairs here and he hooked up my, my uh, fairy lights inside. And I just have them set on steady on. I don't want them blinking. But oh boy, oh boy, I am loving this. Let me get down a step here and show you. I'm absolutely loving it. I did put the plate that we glued on the charger there behind. This is a candle light by the way. This is not an electrical light. It is a candle light that Chris made into a USB plug-in like he does with all the others. Google it. I'm not going to tell you how he does it. I don't even know how he does it, so just Google it, please. <laughs> how to turn a battery candle into a USB plug-in, you know? Uh, but I'm super happy with how all of this worked out. I just love it. I'm really glad that I switched this out, y'all. Oh my heavens, I just, when I got down and looked at that thing, I was like, oh, what was I thinking? <laughs> so I'm really happy with how that turned out. I'm glad I separated the birds. I'm glad I separated the bottles. And I'm glad I'm not extreme. I am symmetrical, it's balanced, but it's not like perfectly two bottles here and two birds here and da 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 da, you know? I mixed it up a little bit, which I like that. So let me get up here and I'm going to go into some final words, <laughs> standing up here on my ladder. So uh, thank you guys so much for stopping in here. And again, thank you so much for all of your comments. Let me thank you in advance. And I appreciate every single one of you and every single comment that you guys so sweetly leave me. I take them to my heart when you see my heart and it nestles in and I cherish every single one of them. I promise you, I cherish every single one of them. So that does it for my desk. And I'm just going to say to those of you who are struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say, come back and I'll do one, one last video going across the front. And I wanted to show you down lower too. So, But until next time, which I think will be this corner shelf because I'm going to record it right now. So that'll be the next video. And that one will probably be a shorter video, you guys. Um, it's just going to be me setting things into place. So that'll be one of those ones that's less than 20 minutes, probably. <laughs> but anyway, with all that said, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye. Okie dokie, you guys, here we go. I just wanted to show you this under here real quick, which is no big deal. I just made a little arrangement under here. Those are my girls when they were just babies. Kristen on the left and Candace on the right. And uh, work hard, be kind, and stay humble. And then I just put a plate back there, and that is really bright, shining very brightly, but that is a uh, just a silicone candle there. And then Stacy made me I love you a bushel and a peck and I just put a battery operated candle on top of a wrought iron candle holder and then two little willow tree figurines sisters at heart one of my dear friends gave me that a long time ago so I just want to tell you about that so here we go into some into a little final video just set to music catch y'all the next time love yous bye bye